Oh, we got a game. Okay, let's play a few. Okay, let's go G6 here. So, yeah, let's keep going. Dancing. Okay, I'm going to play knight b7e5 just like the last game. Uh, play versus Stockfish, yes. Playing against Stockfish is something to do when you want to just, like, lose and feel terrible about your chest. Now, g5 is a move here, I believe, but I'm just going to go a6 instead. And play, um, what does that do? That, I'm going to go queen e8, maybe no knight b5 here. I think I'm going to go knight h7, maybe f5, h5. Let's go h5 here. Okay, bishop g3 also a little bit weird, because now there's, like, h4, I think. The way the province playing this strikes me is a little bit suspicious. It looks like more than a little suspicious. It looks very suspicious to me. I guess I go b6 and takes. Oh, I gave him knight a5. I should not have given him this move, but who cares? Let's go... I guess I'll go here. Of course, this was a mistake too, because I gave him f4. I should have gone to c7. Uh, frustrating the way I'm playing today. Yeah, this was so stupid of me. I mean, literally just, like, gave him everything. He also has e5 here, which I missed, too. Should have gone to c7. Why did I go there? I'll go here to guard the pawn and hit the knight. He's got e5. Now, I could take... I think I should take. I'm like... Oh, he takes with a bishop, which is not what I expected. Wait. Isn't this just a blunder? I think he just loses material. Yeah, he just blundered. Maybe it's d6, d7 to stay in the game, but he did blunder. Yeah, he's got this. Of course, I take. Goes d7. So I take and play like knight f6 to hit the queen and connect the rooks. And now this all should be very, very hunky dory. I've got like rook d8. Yeah, now, now I'm going to win the game. Rock the Casbah. Rock the Casbah. Rock the Casbah. I can play rookie eight. Uh, I'm looking for something better, like ninety four. Looks like a move. It's not right though. So let's just go here, maybe, and then like put pressure on the bishop. I have queen e three. I have queen d four also. I mean, queen e three is definitely good enough, but I think this is probably the safer approach. Check and take. I don't see any tricks. Ninety five. I just trade the queens. Queen h6, I can take. He goes rook e2, which looks kind of wrong. Actually, more than kind of. It looks very wrong. Um, knight g5 and queen f1 is an idea. I don't want to... Wait, why am I so low on time, actually? I just realized I'm way down a clock. Wait, why am I so low? Yeah, let's just go here and rook e7. Yeah, I just realized, like, why am I so low? Got to pick up the speed here. Knight a4, okay. This is where I need to move quickly. Um, let me just c4. This knight b6 dude doesn't do anything, doesn't threaten anything. But I'm so slow here. Why am I so slow? Let me just here. Wait, but do I have this? Yeah, I've got... My, now my knight jumps at least. Now my knight can jump, and I should be better here. Still a little bit messy. More like very messy, but I should be fine. Yeah, getting this knight in the game is super, super critical with these knights. Very, very critical. Rock the Casbah. That gives me rook d3, which I think is just like very strong. Do I have rook f3? I think I do. Knight f3 is probably good too, but... Rook f3, knight d5 or something. I'll just take... And just start pushing P, and here I just take. I have C2, C1 with the rook behind the pawn. This should just be winning. Yeah, I go here in the knight h5, and there's no checkmate on h8. I'm getting a queen. This should just be GG, rook d1. There we go. One up, one down. Good d3. I mean, I guess I'll play bishop b3 here.
It's knight c3, knight e2 again. It's pretty standard. Let's just castle. Takes. I'll take with a pawn, of course. I could have taken with a knight. Probably knight takes this objectively a little bit better. Yeah, it's just much better. Okay, let's go here. Knight g4, I have bishop g... Wait, what? That's just a free pawn. Yeah, this is very bad. I think Peravian's kind of tilted. He shouldn't be tilted. I don't know why he would be, but I think he's a little bit tilted. Do I take or not as a question? So I do take, and I play like here in rookie one. And I think this should be pretty good. He can take, which he should, of course. Doesn't take. And now I think after 92, this should just be winning for me. I have knight c1, I have knight f4 also. Now let's just go here and trade, I guess. Once I get knight f4 back, I should just be winning here. The key is how to play this. I think knight e2 looks right to hit the bishop. Excuse me, f4. Yeah, now once I get rook d1 and king f1, I should just be winning. Should be pretty good here. Let's see what he does. He's using up a lot of time here, so I mean, I think I think I'm in very very good shape. Okay, so he plays g5. I can obviously take. I can also go g3. I mean, g3 looks like the right move. I mean, it, maybe it's not, but it looks like the right move. FG5 probably also completely fine. Um, but yeah, see, somehow I've actually misplayed this. Now it's not easy to prove. Um, goes rook g8, which I thought was kind of wrong, but maybe not. I guess I just go here. Yeah, because now I have rook g1, and... G6, okay, but wait a second, wait a second. If I take and go here, I mean, he has bishop f4, but I can take and play rook g4. I mean, this should still be good for me. King g4 is also probably, f well, I guess there was rook d8, rook d2 there, maybe. Takes, of course, I have to take. Um, go here and take. I mean, I still feel like I should be winning here somehow. G7 and rook b7 move. I can also just check. Go here, rook h7 tricks. I think I'm winning here. I have rook h7. Goes b5. So I play a4. That's a move. I have like this move maybe. Think about how I can win this. H4 is wrong. A4 is a move that I kind of believe is working for whatever reason. Yeah, I think I think A4 is working because I can check and take. Take. This should be winning. I have King C3. Okay, I take. I go here. I have C5, and yeah, now I just win the game. Very good. Very, very good stuff. The pawn just gets through, and with the rook behind the pawn, it's a very easy one. Let's go here. C6, big threat. C7. Run the king up. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. There we go. Another win. Let's keep going. Let's go bishop G7. Okay, let's play D6. Uh, okay, I'm going to go bishop g4 here. Maybe like knight c6. Or knight d7. Both moves are playable. Let's go here. Maybe like knight c6 or castles. Plays h4, which is interesting. I think I'm going to actually take now. I'm play h6. Maybe knight c6. He gets a big white center with h4 castling. It's still an option, but it's a little bit dubious here, I think. Okay, still he does castle anyway. I'll castle. 
If I take bishop h6, maybe it's a move. Could just play. I don't like h5, but I think I have to play it. It's so king h7, h5, there are problems on the diagonals. I'm just assuming this pawn at h4 is a weakness down the road. That's my assumption, but it could be completely wrong too. It was bishop c4, which looks wrong to me. Let's go here. Takes, so I can take or play like knight e5. I mean, he has bishop g5, I guess, but I feel like my position is pretty decent here, objectively speaking. Thank you so much to Leg. Thank you so much to Lafong for the rate of 29 viewers. Thank you so much to Lafong. Appreciate it. Thank you. Let's go queen seven takes. I don't know if this is actually good, but this is the kind of position that I wanted in my match against Prague. Like even, even if objectively this could be bad for me, you just play the game and you hope for good things to happen. I don't understand that move. I mean, maybe once b4, a4, I don't know, but it looks, this looks strange. Like very strange to me somehow. Ah, but he, okay, wait, so I go here, takes and takes, now I'm up a pawn. Yeah, this is exactly what I wanted against Prague, but I didn't get it, unfortunately. Um, if I go knight of six, takes, takes. I mean, this looks great to me. Take, and I've got knight e4. Wait. Knight e4, queen e3 or something? Ah, he has tricks. I could just go, ah, c5, there's knight of five. Wait. Uh, I got careless here. I think I have to take and play like rook a e8 and maybe like queen b2. Not super enthused, but it is what it is. We'll see. Could have played c5, takes, takes, and made a draw, but draws aren't what I want here anyway. So, yeah, once again, big shout out to LaFong. Thank you so much for the raid. Appreciate it. We're here streaming from, uh, I'm here in Abu Dhabi. So, I'm in Abu Dhabi in the United Arab Emirates right now, for anybody who's wondering. So, takes, I can play a6. I can also go knight g3 and knight f5, which, I know this is right, but I'm going to do it anyway. Yeah, we'll see. I'm going to play like knight, uh, I'll go here on the knight f5 and hit, hit all the pawns. I mean, maybe I could have. Maybe I should have just gone knight f5 right away, but whatever. It's what it is. Yeah. It was b4. I mean, knight f5 is a move. Rookie four is a move. I'd be very careful how I do this, actually. Because b4, a4 is a serious problem. I'm going to go here. It's a tricky position to play. Very, very tricky. There's a4. So my take, I have rook h1 somewhere in here, I think. And I go here, rook h2, rook h1. I'm trying to use d's rooks somehow. Like I want rook a2 and then a mate. I don't know if it's actually working, but it's a, an idea at least. I think it might actually just work. Um, wait, wait, that, there's check and check. Wait, I feel like there's something that I'm missing. Maybe like, I'm gonna go here. Some, there was a draw with knight e4, knight g3. I didn't see a way to win, unfortunately. Yeah, rook b2. Do I go rook c... Again, I feel like there's something that I'm missing here. There's some way to win. But if I don't see it, I mean, at some point I have to start bailing. Go check and check. Go check and check. I will go... Um... Assume I go here on knight b7 or knight d3. Knight d3 is no good, so let's blockade. This should be winning if I'm precise. I rook b3, rook c3. This definitely should be winning with correct play. But whether I win this is a whole separate question. Because the time situation is not... Well, it wasn't in my favor. Now it is, but it wasn't. Go here. Go here. Here, I guess. I don't know if that does anything. Yeah, now I'm gonna start pushing the pawns on the king side. I assume I'm winning here if I don't do something stupid. Like I'm trying to checkmate him on the king side, actually. Like big threats here with like mates. Yeah, I think this is actually just winning. Knight g3 or something. Wait. Okay, I just gotta move.
What am I doing? Let's go here. There we go, and I win the game. Not the best game ever, but it's a win. Let's keep going. Let's play E4. Probably going to play two more, and then we're going to move on to Master Chef, you guys. That's the plan, at least. Um, wait, so, yeah, so Castle's in 94. That was the correct line, I believe. I'll still just take and play Bishop E3 anyway. We need seven logical. Questioning why I played this. Actually, I'm really just not sure why I did this at all. Let's go here. I mean, this is, of course, ridiculous what I've done, but play A3. I'm going to go here, maybe Queen E1. Not the best start, but it's still playable. If it goes A4, let's drop back. B4, Knight, A4 is fine. I don't really like A4. It fixes a pawn structure that I think is kind of questionable for black. Knight H5 is fine, but this does give me Knight E2. Don't understand Knight H5 either. because Okay, but now I have Rook D7 maybe? At the very least. I don't have to go for it. Maybe just... Wait, I, I don't believe this somehow. I'm just going to go here. I just want to play like Rook D1 and put pressure. I don't know if this is great or not. I'm surprised by B4, actually. Like, very surprised. Okay, go C5. Um, I assume I can just go King H2 here. Maybe Rook D1. Maybe I should have played Rook D1 first, but whatever. Beside the point. Position's not great here. I'm probably in a little bit of trouble if he plays this precisely, but I do have things like knight g3. I guess just rook d1. Probably slightly worse here. Just the question is, is it, is it much worse or just a little bit worse? See what he does. He can obviously trade the rooks. He can also not trade. We'll see what we'll see what his plan is here. The goal is to get a McDoption. That's what I'm aiming for. For anybody who's wondering what we're playing for, takes on e2, which is interesting. Also because I have rook d8, I have queen e2. I don't actually like that. Wait a second. I don't like his decision because now there's queen c4 also. Yeah, I don't like this decision at all from my opponent, from Pravian at least. Do I take with the rook or not is also a question. Like, or do I take with the queen? Also an option. Um, don't want to burn my whole clock. I'm just going to take with the rook. I'm going to trust my instincts with queen d1. That rook holds. I've got this idea. I've got g3. I've got the active bishop. And I'm trusting that I'm just better here. I don't know if I actually am. But I think I am. And that's good enough for me. Let's see what he does here. I mean, it, it doesn't seem like there are all that many options. Let's see what he does. This bishop is so good suddenly for me. And his bishop is not so great. Like, the knight and the bishop combo here is really, really good. I think I'm actually just better. The fact that he's using so much time tells me that I'm better. Goes a3. Okay, so he plays a3. So, of course, I can take. I can also go b4. Which I think I'm just going to play. Because this gives me rook d6 now as well. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I just don't believe him. Knight e, uh, knight e6 is a good move. I missed. I actually I missed knight e6. He has queen f4 here. It's a little bit careless by me. I guess I'll go queen e2 maybe. g3 though. I think... I, I think that's just a mistake. I just take. Yeah, I think that's just a mistake by Pravion. I guess Bishop D4, which gives me rookie six. I also have takes in D5. Wait, this is where I want to think for a second. Takes D5, Knight D4. Wait a second. So takes, takes, d5. No, I mean, this should just be winning. Okay, I think...
probably not right to allow this. I guess I'll go here. Wait, what am I doing? Did I just blunder this game away? The heck was that? Oh my god, I, I just I think I just threw this game away. Go here. Maybe not. I'm still holding. Very, very questionable decision by me to go into this though. It's still fine. Oh, that was a mistake, too. There we go. We got the win. Big win. Horrible game, but we got the win. One more. Let's go. Let's go, Bishop G7. <sighs> that was bad. Let's go here. I could have taken the knight, too, by the way, but uh, let's just go here. Very, very bad by me, but whatever. Let's just take, I guess, and play C5. Takes a... Take with a knight or the pawn. I don't know which one's best, but I can do either one. Or I just developed the knight here with knight. So dirty flag, yeah. Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't the best one, but it was good enough. He's deep in the tank here. Let's see what he does. Takes now. Both captures are playable here. Pawn takes is playable. I mean, I don't know which one's right, but I'm gonna play traditional with knight takes and like queen a5, knight f6, rook c8, just standard chess here. Like knight f6, of course. I can always trade, I can go queen a5. Rook c8 looks simple. Queen a5 looks simple. Like all this looks very simple, which is why I'm playing, playing, because it's just very straightforward and simple to the point. I don't know how many times I just said simple, but yeah. Goes h4, which is an interesting move. I could play knight d7 here. I also have knight b4. Knight d7 is a traditional human move. h5 also is a human move. I think I'm just going to play h5. Maybe not the best move, but it feels human enough. Okay, let's go here. I mean, rook g5, I'm probably going to take. If he moves the knight, I'll just trade. I'll play I'll play this end game gladly. And I have knight e5 somewhere, like knight e5 here maybe. I also have e6, which looks good to kick the knight out of town. Knight f4, I guess. Okay, there's no knight g6, so I'll go king e7 here. Keep it simple. Ah, I had bishop d4, which I missed. Bishop d4 is a very good move there. Okay, let's go uh, here, I guess, to hit the pawn. d8, of course, very standard. b3, logical move. No, I've missed. I've I've actually completely misplayed this position. It's going to be tricky. Uh, let's see how I do this. I have a six. I have b six also. Um, I guess I'll just go here to hit the pawn. It's going to go like knight g two. I'm going to play b six f four knight g four or something. I don't like my position that much, but it's kind of okay. Kind of being the keyword c four logical. Um, is there a way to move my knights around is the other question. Like, can I move the knight to, like, b8 or something? Let's go here. Because the knight still guards. There's no f4, e5 trick in here. Okay, it goes bishop f4, which to me felt a little bit wrong somehow, but... I guess I'll go here. This might be wrong. Uh, maybe it's more than a little wrong. Go here. So I'm guarding. I go here. 
because e5 i can just take i'm guarding the rook with both pawns f5 to me f5 looked wrong so the e oh my god i blundered knight e3 oh my god i just blundered the game away uh, let's go here and here i guess he had f6 which he missed too but whatever if i can get the knight to d4 the knight to c5 i do actually have chances maybe here to survive we have knight c5 somewhere okay i assume i just go here and here and takes like if i get knight c5 and knight d4 i mean i have chances for no no real reason but i do wait do i take with a bishop or the knight um knight takes as a move but i assume i take with the bishop i also had knight e4 but i think this is correct Knight takes was obviously a better move too, but whatever. Two, okay, let's see. How do I do this? Maybe I go like here to play for g5 or something. Okay, let's just go g5, go for it. I missed rook g2, but I can take and take maybe. Yeah, I've completely bungled this. Oh, I'm, I'm low on time, too. I didn't realize. Oh, my... my. Oh, I know I hung this, too. Ah, uh, yeah. <sighs> yeah, I threw this game. Ah, I threw that so stupidly. Now I have to win one more just to break even. Okay, one last one, you guys. That was so stupid. Wait, why did I go to C4? I went to the wrong square, but okay, let's just play. Yeah, that was really unfortunate. But considering the previous game, I can't really complain. Yeah, I'm going to start picking up the speed here against this guy. Here goes queen c8, which... To me, looks kind of wrong. Because knight on f8 is so mis... Or is um, knight on a6 is so misplaced here that I assume I'm better. You can take. Okay, I'll go here, hit the pawn. Trying to pick up the speed here. Who's drop zone? Drop zone is Pravian. Uh, David Pravian, I should say. Um, why did I take the rooks? I'm just losing in the end game. That's why. <laughs> I mean, I'm just losing. Okay, wait a second. Should be better here if I'm precise. Um... Being precise is not easy, though, in these sorts of positions. Let's take and go here, maybe. Hit the pawn. I mean, I feel like there's a lot of pressure here. Goes there. It hangs a pawn on d6. That also hangs a pawn on g6. Just a question of which one's the correct to take. And I think g6 should be the correct one. Let's go back. Guard the knight. 
of rook e1, rook d1, maybe f5 as well. I mean, this should just be very, very good for me, objectively. Uh, goes knight d5. So, of course, I can trade if I want. I am up a pawn here. So, if I'm up a pawn, then why is trade's not a good decision? Yeah, I mean, he should not be trading pieces. He's just down a pawn. So I'm going to go like knight d2 and knight f3, knight d4. And this should be very, very good for me. I should just win this game. So, all right. Knight e4, I of course don't want to take. I can play f5. I think just rook d1 is good. Just knight f3 or knight b3. And the pawn on d5 is going to fall. And I should just win the game. Only question is how to guard this pawn on c2 when I capture. Hmm. Not so obvious, actually. Not so obvious. I also have rookie one, maybe. Which I kind of like. Goes king h8, so knight f3 should be correct. Ah, uh, maybe I'd c4 too. Maybe I'd c4, but anyway, whatever. Okay, goes queen g4. I'm making a bit of a mess out of this. <laughs> yeah. In typical fashion, I'm finding a way to misplay this. So I take knight c3, rook e8, knight d5, rook c8, and I win. Okay, I take. I'm still better. It's just, whoa, he takes, which I did not expect at all. I assume I'm just winning here. This should be winning. I mean, he's just dropping a piece. Yeah, I win. Okay, all roads lead to Rome here. I think this is probably the safest one. Just takes an IG1. Just go here, go after the pawn, and play bishop d4. Oh, I missed queen f2, of course. What the heck am I doing? Okay, now I get the bishop here, now I win. Just very simple. Start pushing the pawn. Should be winning, just promote, easy. Queen and just take with a bishop. Important question is a keyboard QWERTY. Um, well, I mean, I'm just using the basic laptop keyboard. I don't have like a plug in because I'm obviously on the road. Okay, let's go one more. Thought I got, got a good position last game. One more. Um, I could play C5. I'm just going to go Knight C6 here. Be two. Okay, I guess I'll go knight f6. Let's go here, take a knight d7. Important question. I don't know what the important question is. Let's take, let's go here. Can always go e5 later. Can always also play h5. I think I'm gonna go h5. I don't know if it's good or not, but I I, I don't know, whatever. It's just chess. Let's play e5 and knight e7 and f5 or something. Actually, let's go here and trade the darks where b is off. Let's take. C6 seems correct. Play for queen a5. Ah, I can castle, which I forgot. I forgot he could actually castle to the king side. Or I would have probably gone c5. I mean, I assume I should take. And manually walk the king, maybe? I don't know. This looks kind of wrong. I, of course, misplayed this, as usual. Go here. It was rook b3, which is not what I expect. I guess I'll just go here and queen c8, queen b8. I also have knight c5, maybe. Knight c5, rook c5, queen c5, knight c5, rook c3, just queen b8. Let's try and do something on the king side. This is actually a little bit scary. If I play a5, I think I'm going to play it anyway. Because takes, takes, I have rook d8. 
Plays b3. Okay, now I'm in... I don't know if I should play f6 or I should play like b5, b4. That's also an option. Um, I don't know what the move is. I'm just going to play it. Hopefully it doesn't lose. So he takes, I kind of expected that. So wait, so if I take... Actually, I don't have to take, I just realized. I could play something like f6 or like rook g8. Wait, if I play like rook e8 maybe? Okay, but I'm getting too low on time as well. Knight h5, knight g6. I'm going to go for it. Might just lose, but I'm going to go for it. Let's see. Oh, did I just blunder? I did. Go here. A knight of four. I missed rook takes c5 in the pen. I mean, just so stupid to go into any of this. Gotta use my time to think while he's on on his time. Go here and maybe knight g8. I'm trying to move really fast here to keep the game going. This. Still have chance to survive this. Oh, I blundered this too. Ah. Oh. Ah, <sighs> so frustrating. Okay, let's go here. Ah. Oh. What a disaster. I mean, just... Yeah, it was ridiculous. Now, now I'm going to have to waste the next hour playing Blitz. Told myself not to play another one, and I played another one. I don't know why. Okay. So stupid. Okay, it's Castle. Yeah, I was going to watch Master Chef, and then I decided to start keep playing Blitz for some unknown reason. That's stupid. Wait, isn't this a free pawn? Maybe I'm blundering, but I don't know. It looks like a free pawn. I don't know what... But he's on tilt, too. He's actually playing bad chess as well. That's, that makes me more optimistic. Yeah, I mean, Queen H4 is just a blunder by him. Did I have a salt based stake? No, I did not. Um, go c3 and like king g2 and queen f3. This looks like the safe way to play this. Like king g2, queen f3, just keep it very simple and slow. Let's go here. Now I have like bishop f4. I mean, this, this should just be winning for me. Goes a5. I'm trying to play a4. Maybe. I do have rook e4. I also just have bishop f4. I also have just queen e4. Queen e4 seems pretty standardly safe. Because f5, I, I thought I had queen e6. To force queens off. Okay, it goes a4 now. I can obviously take if I want to. Just a question of whether I should or not. Um, so if I take, take c4, I don't love it. But I think it's probably good, actually. My gut assumption with this position is that this is actually probably very good for me. Uh, like a3 and probably just move the rooks. Of course, I gave him rook b8, and now I'm already feeling like an idiot again. Uh, another bad move for no reason. Yeah, I'm playing kind of poorly right now. Still probably okay, but it's still actually not kind of okay. It's just okay, but 
be one. Okay, I guess I go here. I mean, H5 should be correct just because of the end games. But again, I've just completely misplayed this. It's going to be very hard to win this end game. It's always a big problem with playing playing Blitz. Let's go here. Assume I go here, takes, takes or something. I mean, I have A4, A5, which I think he actually missed. Because once I get A4, A5, A6, I mean, with the, the rook behind the pass pawn, I'll go, I mean, I assume I should go here. Five rook eight, a six. Actually, I think this is very dangerous suddenly. I think this might just be losing. Go here, king d3 traps the rook, by the way. And if I get the pawn rolling, I think it's gg, why not? I tricked him, okay. One more, one, one up. This gets me to 29, 32, 35, so I need to win three more in a row, right? That's what I need to do. This should just be winning though. E4 feels kind of wrong. Ah, I see his idea. Okay, so I guess I'll just go here and then A7 probably. I mean, I assume this endgame is losing, but maybe I'm crazy. Okay, let's see. I also have just... Ah, I see his idea. Okay, so... So I go here... This should be winning, though. I, I, I'm pretty sure this is winning. Because he's, he's just zugzwanged here. Yeah, he's going to resign, I think. I assume I just wait, like, okay, one. He has how to win this endgame. I guess I go here. Okay, king d6 should be winning. I mean, I actually, I just go for the pawn. That's what I do. I go here and I just go for the pawn. Yeah, I just go for this pawn. And I don't think he can... S of course, I just blundered again. Wait, I, I am winning here. It's just a matter of technique. This is winning. I'm sure this end game is winning. Because his king is cut off here. His king is too far away. If his king wasn't cut, this might still be a draw. But his king's too cut. Yeah, he resigns. Okay, let's go again. Keep going with G6, bishop g7. Yeah, three, three in a row is what I need. I need to win, just win four in a row. That's it. Play here. Let's go here. Threaten bishop h3. I can also take. Let's go here. Trade some bishops. I can go queen c8. I can also just play knight d8, which is not the best move, but I'll play it anyway. Just to guard some pieces here. Mainly, I want to get my opponent low on time. I feel like when he gets low on time, bad things happen. I'm just there. I assume I go here and c6. Don't really like h4. Feels a little bit dubious to me. Maybe it's not terribly dubious, but it doesn't feel right. His pieces are a little bit clumsy. Like, he'd love to have e4 in a big white center, but he can't quite get it. Internet seems pretty good, right, you guys? Just playing until he drops a stone right. But the internet seems pretty good now, I think. Unless I'm crazy. You guys can tell me. Um, the microphone? Micro no, I said the internet, not the microphone. Microphone's probably completely fine. Um, I don't know what Queen D3 does, actually. So I'm just going to play this. I'm going to knight G4. I think I'm just going to go Queen F5 to trade some queens, play another endgame. 
Stream looks good. Okay. Yeah. Good stream, better chess. Thank you so much, you guys. Appreciate it. Let's see what he does here. I mean, plays rookie one. I mean, I can go knight. Oh, knight e4 just hangs g4. That would be fairly embarrassing. Um, knight g4 looks like one of the other options, so I'm going to go for it. Try to put a lot of pressure here on the center of the board. I mean, I always have d5, always have knight e6. A lot of different options here. Plays knight h5. I can also go bishop f8. Um, knight e3 is a move. I don't like it. Um... I'm just going to go rook g8. I'll, I'll let him take. I'm not worried. I can always go bishop f8, pressure on the bishop, pressure on the pawns. Now, rook f1 is actually probably a very good move that I should not have allowed, but... Take and go d5, maybe. I think I'm just going to go bishop f8, and then probably, like, maybe f6, maybe e6. Plays d5, which I thought was a move. I didn't think it was a particularly good move, but... I think I'm just going to go c5 here. I still had knight e3, but I didn't like it. I'm just going to go a6 and maybe b5 somewhere. Play b5. If e4, I can obviously just take and go like king d7. I have e6, I have f5, e5. I mean, it's still very messy. Very hard to judge. Um... B3, I can obviously take. I can also go B4. I think I'm gonna play B4. I don't know if it's probably not a good move, but I'm gonna play it anyway. Like A5, A4 somewhere. But if I take, I think he hung F2, no? Yeah, he hung F2 here. I think he forgot about F2. Okay, now I just go A4. Yeah, he's completely misplayed this. I mean, it's not like he's losing or anything for white, but this seems completely wrong to me, optically. King A2, reasonable move. I mean, F5 is always an option. I don't think it's a good one. E6 isn't a move. Rook G6 is maybe a move. I'm going to go here and then maybe E5. I think if I play E5, takes, takes. Rook E4 is a move. I can also go F6, but I think E5 is correct. I think I take with the pawn, because I still have E5 here. I still have Knight 6, Knight B4 down the road as well. Go here, I guess, to play for knight b4. I feel like I'm starting to unwind this a little bit. Still not easy to prove that I'm better, but I should be better. I also have knight d4, which I missed. I'm going to go here, trade some, trade some rooks. I have rook a4, maybe. Hard to judge. Hard to judge. Um, eyes. Oh, did I just blunder rookie one? I think I did. Oh, just wait. Do I have knight h2? Maybe a knight f3? I mean, this is very scary. But I think if I can survive and not lose the game on time, I will win this. Okay, wait a second. Maybe here? Maybe like here? Now here and yeah, now now I'm starting to just completely unwind it. Let's go check and take, of course. Why did I do that? That was insane. As long as I survive on clock, I will win this game. I survived on clock, so now I win the game. Yeah, now I survived, now I win the game. There we go. There we go. We got the win. Let's go again. Two more. Two more, you guys. Two more. Isn't this Master Chef time? Yeah, I was going to watch Master Chef, and then I decided to keep going <laughs> I say a lot of things yeah what is this wait what is, is this crazy or something I don't know what this is this might be some like fancy schmancy idea that I'm un unaware of 
I'm just gonna go e6. I'm not in the mood for some like weird sacks and stuff. Yeah, I'm just not in the mood for any weird stuff this game. Let's go here. It's probably is okay for black, but again, like I said, I just don't want to allow any weird stuff. I just want to play chess. H5, I'm just going to go A3, maybe B4, C4. Takes, I'll go B4. Probably Knight B3, maybe C4, maybe H3 here is a move. I can also just castle. I'm going to go B5, maybe Knight D4. Trade, pressure on the pawn. He can obviously trade the bishops. Goes King B8. I mean, I can also just castle, I guess. Why not? Played this a little bit in a dubious fashion for sure, but it's what it is. There's knight d7. I can always play h3. I assume h3 should be the correct move. Just queen e2. Goes bishop f5, which is not actually what I expected. Because now I feel like I'm going to get some attack here on the queen side. Uh, that just hangs a pawn. Yeah, I think that was just a mistake. He just forgot that he was hanging material. And now I'm just going to trade off pieces to get to an end game. I'm going to start playing. Like Magnus Carlsen, the former world chess champion who likes to just play end games and nothing else. Um, so that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to try to play like Magnus. Knight b6, I can always take. Um, don't really want to go bishop f5, so I guess I'll play something else. I don't know what exactly. Um, weirdly, I don't have good moves. Maybe just back. I don't know if this makes sense or something, but it's a move. Maybe g4 is an idea somewhere. There's king a8. I don't know what that... Oh, I see. Actually, I had a trick me. Oh, maybe I had an actual trick there with bishop d5 that I didn't see at first. But now I should be in very good shape. Hey, chat, do you know that 77 plus 33 equals 100? That equals 110, but I don't know what the question is. You kindly prosper us as Master, master Chef. I'm going to get to it. Um, I wanted to get to it already, but whatever. It was bishop e4. I mean, I can obviously trade and play like queen g4. I don't really want to trade. But I think trade makes sense with, like, queen e2. Oh, he takes with a queen. I did not expect that. Because now I can go queen d3 and channel my inner Magnus Carlsen, and he has to go into an endgame. As we know from Magnus, all you want to do in chess is play positions without queens on the board, because without queens, there are no fancy-schmancy tactics, none of that silly stuff that kids are so good at. And when you do that, you just win all the time. So that's what I'm trying to do here. Let's go here, guard everything, maybe rook d1. I assume I can just take and drop back i don't know if i go to i'm gonna go to d2 i don't know if i should go to d2 or d1 but who cares just go like i guess i'll play king f2 here and a4 just consolidate the chain go c3 lock everything up here i could have taken on a6 too i guess but who cares there's rook a8 logical i'll put like rook a2 i guess i still can take on a6 if i want to but now i've got a wooden shield in the middle of the board as well so i'm I'm looking pretty good here. I mean, h4 seems like a solid move here. I could have played a5, actually. Let's go here. I'm just slowly massaging the position here, just ever so slowly. And I'm just going to create a pass pawn somewhere and eventually win the game. What season were in season three, you guys? Season three. Yeah, I'm just massaging the position very, very slowly. Let's go, like, here. Yeah, it goes here, but now he's got the triple stack. That's the only problem. He has three pawns, so he's never getting a pass pawn, so that's the problem here. That's the big problem, is that I can just continue to create... Uh, I go check, and I win the game. That's GG. All right, one more to go. Let's keep going. Um, this time I'm going to play knight d7. I'm just going to play standard stuff, like e5 and knight f6. Just very standard, slow stuff. Maybe D2. Okay, let's go 97 and castles, I guess. Let's go B6. Bishop B7, of course. F6 seems to hold. Let me think about this for a second. I think Knight C5 is a reasonable move. Let's go here. Go here and trade. <sighs> Why did I just do this? I just blundered again for no reason. Let's 
go here on trade. I didn't blunder per se to where I lose the game. It was going to be very hard to win this game. It's going to be very, very hard to win this game. Just C3, logical move. I can obviously trade and play like Rook. Maybe I just trade and go like here to hit the pawn. Um, the question is, do I go Bishop F8? I think I should play this. Maybe just like Rook B7. I also have Rook C8. Maybe I can put the other Rook on B8, maybe. Let's go here to kick the Rook out. Bring the King closer. I think he wants to go Knight, Knight E3 or something, I think. We'll go here. Okay, goes Rook B1, or Rook D1, rather. Such a bad position for me. Maybe, not Knight B6, maybe... Maybe I can go here on the Knight B6 or something. Goes F4. I think I'm gonna play Knight B6 and try to trade some Knights, maybe. Go here, target the pawn. I'm way down on clock, which is a big problem. I think I'm gonna play F5 here. It's a risky decision, because I, I mean, you can obviously take, but I think it's a good decision objectively. There's rookie one. Okay, wait, so I don't wanna take, I don't wanna go king F7. Exactly the sort of position that I do not want to allow. No, I'm not even sure how I'm supposed to defend this. Go here, maybe King C6. I'm down so much time. I gotta pick up the speed. Yeah, I need to move, move much, 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 much faster. Way too slow. Like I'm literally trying to just like play pragmatic chess at the worst possible moment. Yeah, this is just ridiculous. Let's go here. Could have played rook e8 too. Um, wait, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. So I'll go here. This is nothing, but maybe I can reroute the knight to c5 and still pretend. Maybe I can pretend that I'm okay. I also have g4 and knight e5 tricks suddenly that I don't deserve. Little tricks. Um, if he goes there. Go check, maybe. Oh, what was that? Oh, I'm such an idiot. What the heck? I was completely fine there. Oh, my God. I was completely fine there, and I threw it. What was Rook takes out four? I should have gone Rook H6. So stupid. All right, I think I'm just going to stop after this one because clearly, I mean, I'm dominating this guy, but not by the margin. I need to not lose rating points. So this will be probably the last one. Or last two, get to 10 and stop. That was so stupid. That uh, was just ridiculous. Because he'd actually blundered when he, when he allowed when he allowed that. But, ugh. I'm going to go here. Not the best move, but who cares? Yeah, if I get too low on time, bad things always seem to happen. That's the moral of the story. Uh, let's just castle. Uh, let's go here. And I also kind of misplayed this order, but whatever. It's got to move quicker, that's all. I do have knight takes e5 here. See, like, I'm, I'm just moving a little bit too slow. Like, here I'm getting too interested in the position again. Yeah, I'm just getting, like, too interested rather than just playing the... the playing a move. Okay, it goes there. So, of course, I'll go here to trade the bishops. I'm a little bit cramped on space. If I go bishop a7, there is bishop c4. So, I'm just going to go here. If here, I just go here. If takes, I take. And I think the double pawns are actually okay here for me. Okay, I just got to pick up some speed. Let's go a4, maybe. Not that a4 is a good move, because it's definitely not. But there, I'll take, of course. Go here. Yeah, I just need to move quicker. 
It's too slow in a lot of these games. Playing a little bit too much like it's classical chess. Okay, b4 is a move. I mean, I can obviously take, but it's probably just a draw. Why did I do this? I guess I will take. Trying to trying to trick him here on this end game. Not very likely, but we'll see. Okay, I guess I'll go here in ID3 maybe. Let's go here. Okay, starting to dominate him now a little bit. Dominate maybe is the wrong word, it's still hard to win this. And yeah, I have no way to win the pawn, I guess. 95 worked before. Go back. I don't know what I'm doing this game. I'm just playing terribly now. Kind of on tilt a little bit here, I guess. Go here, maybe reroute the knight. Try to trick him again. Just a match card want to play with another player. Yeah, I just want to play some blitz. That's that's all really. It's not nothing more than that. I couldn't find a game, so that's why I'm, that's why I play this guy now. I've just kept playing him forever. So stupid to play Rook takes F4. If I had played Rook H6, I think I would have won that last game. Um, let's go here, Knight D4. I mean, I'm, I don't know if I'm actually winning here, but I'm getting what I want. Oh, and I gave him King F6, which is stupid. I should have played E5 first. Let's go here. He played G5, which is a fairly serious mistake, because now I actually have some squares around the King to play with. H5, I mean... I assume bishop f5 must be correct. Let's go like, I don't know, g4 maybe to plant the bishop here. I mean, I can take with the bishop or the pawn. I don't know which one to take. I'm assuming I take with the pawn, but I assume this is correct. Let's see what he does. He's getting low on time too, so I have chances. Okay, takes, I take, okay, rook b7. I'll go here. Go here. And obviously take and play knight f3. I can also take and play like knight c6. Wait, do I have rook a7 here? Wait. Yeah, he blundered. I think he's just lost now. Yeah, he just blundered the game away. Now I win. So knight c6. Or wait, no, or... Yeah, knight c6 and I have rook d7 and it's winning. Yeah, there we go. Oh, let's just take and take. I think I'll just reroute the knight to d3, simple chess. Yeah, this should be winning with king e2. Takes, I just push the pawn through and it's gg. Okay, let's go again. Let's mix it up. Let's mix it up here. Either I get either basically next game I lose, I stop, or next game or or I get past what I start at, which I think was 32, 36, if I'm not mistaken, or 37. That's basically all I'm doing. I think I think regardless, it's like, yeah, I, actually I said 10, right? I said 10. 10 is a good spot to stop too, actually. Yeah. I said last game like eight games ago. I know, tell me about it. I know I did. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Go here in castles. You're not wrong about that, my friend. So, yeah. Team Scandi. Yeah, I'm playing a Scandinavian here. Uh, bishop h6 and trade, of course. And rook h8. Can go g5 if I want. I don't know if it's a good move. I think f5 generally is, like, better in these structures. Let's go here. I kind of set this up the wrong way, though, because my rooks, my rooks are completely off sides. Let's go here. You can play a5. I'm not too worried. I'll just drop back. Um, I'm actually not too worried. I think I'm just going to take. Oh, but of course, I had queen b6, which was just winning a pawn. <laughs> oh my god, I had queen b6, which just wins a pawn. Yikes. That wasn't very smart of me. Um, okay, but he goes c5, so I'll go a5 here. Let's go here, and then knight b8, kick the queen out. 
I think I'm actually better here. I don't know why, but I feel like I'm better with Rook D8. Because now I get the Knight to B4, I use the hook. And yeah, I think I'm actually quite a bit better here. I don't know if I'm like winning immediately, but I'm in very, very good shape here. Yeah, I should be winning here. Should be winning. Well, I'm playing the World Rapid and Blitz. I don't know where the World Rapid and Blitz is, you guys, so I have no idea. You can tell me. I'm going to play the late title Tuesday for sure. The only question is... Uh, whether I end the stream before then or not. And the assumption right now... Uh, wait, I'm, wait, I'm knight c5. d c5, rook d1, king a2, rook d4. Takes, takes, is winning. Yeah, that's just GG. Just making sure, yeah. This should just be winning here. There's queen c4. So I take, there's bishop c6, king b8, takes and block. I assume that's winning with the extra pawn. I mean, knight a4 is also a line. I don't know, my assumption is this endgame should be winning. I mean, I am up a pawn, right? It's six on five. Yeah, I am up a pawn here. I think b4 is correct, and I go like king b6 and rook c7. Let's go check. This should just be winning, I assume. I assume this is winning. If this isn't winning, I don't know what is. Go like here, and then I have a3 or b3. And I think I have a3 here with rook a7. a3 takes, takes, block. Here, here. Yeah, this should be winning. Yeah, this is GG. All right, let's go again. Okay, last one, you guys. Last one either way. I'm going to play I'm gonna play an end game. I'm just going to play an end game for everybody. Okay, he's going to play knight c6. Okay, I think I'm just going to go c3 and then d3. Or d4. Oh, I placed this one. Okay, so let's just go... I'm just going to play this one. Let's take and just play an end game. I'm going to go here, maybe knight b5, maybe knight c2, knight e3. He started 86 below 86. I don't know what that means. Um... I think I'm just going to go here. 93 is also completely fine. Um, let's go 91. Just keeping this very, very slow and simple. I also have C4 to kick the knight out, and then 93 maybe. If it was H6, I think now C4 is a good idea to go for 93. So what am I doing here? I feel like I've misplayed this somehow. Yeah, I think I have misplayed this somehow. No, I definitely have misplayed this. This is not what I wanted. Hmm. I guess I'll go here. Plays d5. I kind of expected that. Don't really want to go c5. Knight f3 is a move. Okay, I'm, I'm a little bit low on time, which is a problem, of course, as always. Let's go here. I've got to pick up the speed. I'm just way too slow again. It's always annoying when I'm so slow like this. I could take a pawn. I think I'm just going to take a pawn. Or is this a blunder? This might be a blunder, too. Ah, uh, not finding the moves. Guess I'll go here. I have rook c6. 
Doesn't listen to music. Uh, I have I have the headphones in, so yes, I am listening. I actually got a little bit lucky here. He misplayed this, so I'm back in back in business. I have rook a4. I'm gonna go here to trade the bishops. He kind of misplayed this. It's not like it's terrible for black, but it's he he did misplay this. I am back in business now after like knight f3 maybe. I also have rook a4, but I think I'm just gonna play simple chess. Think about what my next move is after his next obvious move. Maybe he's not going to play the obvious move that I expected. Yeah, I'm expecting something else. Okay, I don't want to go bishop e4. I'll go here. I was expecting bishop d6, not f6. what he does plays h5 let's go back i don't even know if knight f3 knight e3 is the right the right move but i, I don't want to think here um gotta go you gotta go you gotta go um let's play here gotta pick up the speed here i'm a little bit too slow Because takes, I take. And again, knight c4. I'm still up a pawn here. I've got chances here to win. I also have knight f5, which is strong. Let's go here. Oh, uh, wait. Knight e5. Fe3, knight there. Yeah, this is still fine. If he takes, takes e2, rookie one. Yeah, this is this should be it, you guys. I should be we should be watching Master Chef. Fingers crossed for the next like two minutes. Um, let's just take with a pawn. Just got to keep the speed up here. Let's go here. Yeah, now he's actually losing the pawn on g4 too. Um, let's go here. Yeah, I think there's gg. Okay, finally. I still lose like five rating points, but whatever. Okay, I just take. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Yes, you guys. Last one. No more. Because, you know, I'm going to be like, I'm going to be like, ah, I'm two games away. Let's just push it. We can win two more. And then I'm going to lose a game and I'm going to ruin it all. So let's let's stop here at 10 to 3 and let's move on to watching our classic Master Chef, you guys.